from Disney Animation and the groundbreaking storytellers of Kugali. Happy birthday, Tola. This is our team. You want that story, pet? It's great. Comes a Disney Plus limited series. What would you say if I asked you to go to the mainland? Set in a futuristic Nigeria. You want to see the real Lagos? Yes, let's go. Welcome to Lagos, Nigeria. Tolab, your daddy has done well for himself. This is how to fish in large rivers. Oti, where's my daughter? She's your responsibility. Find her. Be careful, though. <laughs> Some of these people are actually dangerous. I laugh in the face of danger. Oh, I didn't hear you laugh, oh. <laughs> I got you now. Oti. Go! Actually, kind of cute. I take that back. Afternoon, thank you so much for having me. So look, this feels like a love letter to Nigeria, okay? Now, before we get into what the program is, when are we getting a Jamaica version for the <laughs> <laughs> uh, We haven't thought that far ahead, but... No, no, because like, if, if we think about it, yeah, because mm -hmm. I've had this debate, because you know in the diaspora we have these conversations, okay? Yeah. Nigeria is the biggest. We know this. We know loudest as well. We know this. <laughs> I agree with you. Loudest. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But per capita, Jamaica has had the most impact globally. And mm -hmm. I feel, just put it in the back of your head. <laughs> yeah? Very true, yeah. Next. Okay, just go that direction. But it's like a really beautiful love letter to Nigeria. What what should people who don't know Nigeria know about Nigeria? What kind of invitation is this to Nigeria? Specifically Lagos. Wow. Well, big question. I'd say there's probably two things. Mm. Uh, first of all, I think there is more that unites us than divides us. Yes. So in other words, you know, at its very, very heart, you know, this story is about a young girl who wants her father's approval. Mm. What child in the world doesn't want their parents' approval? Yeah. But then more uniquely to Lagos or more uniquely to Nigeria, I mean, I don't know if there's one specific thing, but it's just the, 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 the cultural medley that makes Lagos unique. You mm. know, this is, this is a, an opportunity for people to put themselves in the shoes of everyday Lagosians that are on the ground in mm. Lagos today. And lastly, I know I said there were two things, is that <laughs> our expression and our creativity is just as exciting as anything you will find um, across the world. I remember being a young, a young child coming across anime for, from Japan for the very first time and thinking this is such a cool approach to animation mm. and storytelling. And now we have the opportunity to do this from, from an African lens. So I hope people can see that our creativity and our storytelling is just as good as you can find anywhere in the world. Yeah. And, and what would you say is like the most important takeaway? Like if, if, if a parent's gonna go and choose, you know, we're in a cost of living crisis, so every choice matters. <laughs> if I say I'm coming to watch this, what is the advert to a parent to take their children to this rather than go to the zoo again? Well, maybe we uh, get the parent in the room to... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I think, you know, as a long-time, you know, Disney artist and leader, um, what, what I wanted to do with, with this story is, is enable them to kind of tell a, th th this beautiful love, love letter to, to Lagos. Mm. I wanted it to be completely authentic. I know Tolu is still living there mm. and he's boots on the ground and he would go and shoot videos, he'd go, you know, even in real time in some of our meetings. Mm. And I wanted people to, around the world, to actually see Lagos at, 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 as, a, as, as a vibrant city, learn the, the, about it and, and from from Africans mm. and, and and you know the folks just you know aren't seeing Africa in a, in, a, in a science fiction way very often um, and I, I wanted to add to this this this, this 
world mm. of this, this landscape of science fiction with African characters, African characters that live in mansions, African yeah. characters who have flying cars, African characters who can build robots. Mm. And so I, I thought that was like really, really important because you don't see that enough. So um, I would say, especially for black parents, mm. I want people to see that. But I think anybody needs to know what Africa is bringing to the table. Yeah. How, how do you keep authenticity? You're partnering with a massive company. <laughs> so you're a studio. You've taken the story. You've partnered with a massive, massive company, <clears throat> heavily Americanized in their view traditionally, although they've done a lot of films. Mm -hmm. How do you keep authenticity, the nods <laughs> that local people will know that you haven't sold out? Totally. That's the black question between us, isn't it? Like, yeah. do yeah. you sell out? And you've, you haven't, because I've seen it. Mm -hmm. But how do you keep the authenticity? So I think one of the most interesting things many people would just assume wrongly that we we would have to be fighting to be Disney animation to get things right. But no, Disney animation came in wanting to get it right and asking all the questions they could. Like, I'm telling you, if there's a t-shirt in that show, Disney animation asked me, this t-shirt, is there any cultural significance in Nigeria? If the shirt is blue, they're like, does blue mean anything to Nigerians? Mm. They wanted to make sure everything was right. Mm. So it made my job easy because all I had to do was keep providing information. And, you know, like Marlon said, I would take videos on my phone. I would send them videos of everything. I, I would, we might even be in a meeting and maybe I'm on the road during that meeting and I just flip my camera and like, this is what this looks like. Mm. So it was not difficult because Disney Animation was willing to get everything right and would listen to our recommendations, our suggestions, even with the casting, almost all the voice actors live in Nigeria. Mm. To, uh, so the voice, the, the recordings were made in Nigeria. The artists that designed a lot of the things are Nigerian or African. Of course, Disney artists worked on it as well. Mm. But I think it's the fact that from the get-go, on the Kugali side and on the Disney side, there was synergy. We both had the same purpose of let's tell an authentic story. Mm. So um, I think Disney brought the resources to empower us and enable us to tell the story we wanted to tell. Yeah. Uh, Harriet, I think I saw an interview where you were, you came out all guns blazing. Okay? Yeah, you that's were, right. You, you were talking, you were talking talk about <laughs> going up directly against Disney as in we're like coming for you. Yeah. How do you end up coming partners from a point of like we're coming for you? How does that happen? Okay, I'll start. No, and, and keep the same energy as well. I please. will. Definitely. I always do. I always do. I always do. I'll start by saying, if you look at that video, you'll notice my beard is not fully grown. There's a bit of maturity. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of maturity is happening in that process there. Yeah. And it's actually, you know, when I say that, a lot of people thought actually I was joking when I said that line. Mm. But the reason I said it was, I grew up in Africa. Mm. I know the wealth of stories in Africa, mm. and nobody was selling them on a global scale. I was yeah, like, yeah. inevitably, if Disney does not touch this, because Disney is a big daddy of Asian entertainment, right? If Disney does not touch this, inevitably we are going to overtake them. Mm. Like, that was the thought process. Now, when they reached out, obviously, there's that thing of, it was always tasseled in my mind. I know people are going to come to me like, you said you're going to kick their asses. Why are you working with them? I was like, if you really think about it, if somebody wants the same goal as you, why do you want to fight with them? Why don't you go together? Mm. And the aspects that Disney brings into the storytelling, just like well, level of experience yeah. into the storytelling and them understanding the landscape of it globally as well, that a collaboration between us and Disney gets me to the goal that made me express that sentiment yeah. faster and better than if we were like, you know what, I'm gonna, I said I'm going to kiss their asses. Ego-wise, no, 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 no. So maturity <laughs> helped a lot. If I was a young kid, maybe I'd have still been, you know, no. fighting, fighting, but yeah. But that's the energy that got you to build a company, so I, I, I exactly. definitely hear you i think it's kind of special that you focused on a daughter um especially at this particular time like having female-led stories but you've also centered a dad the kind of like unsung hero of parenting how important, <laughs> thank you yes how important <laughs> are, are those two things in your storytelling Is it gonna hit the one? yeah so i'll first of all start with the perspective of the the dad because mm. i wanted tunde to represent an archetypical Nigerian father, although what I found is that people from other cultures, both in and outside of Africa, really identify with the Tunde archetype. Like our producer, Christina Chen, who has an Asian background, was like, oh, as someone of an Asian background, I, I see a lot of um, similarities. So I wanted, just from a, a narrative point of view, 
to have a challenge for the character to overcome. And a lot of Nigerian parents, they always set these lofty challenges for children to overcome. You come, you do really well in your classes. Like, why couldn't you be first? You do, you're first in your class. You're like, why can't you be first in your school? So there's always this uh, expanding uh, goalpost that, that children often have to, to overcome. So I wanted that to be a challenge because that's a challenge that many of us who, who grew up in Nigeria had to overcome. And then in terms of having a, a female protagonist, to be honest, I think it's, it's because when I was originally conceiving of this story, when I thought about the people and the real life experiences mm. that I was basing these stories off on, um, a lot of these stories were, were inspired by a lot of the women in, in my life. Mm. And therefore, it just felt like it made sense to, to, to have a, a female protagonist. So maybe in some ways, this is an ode to many of the women in my life that, that inspired me. Powerful. Uh, just very, very quickly. So in terms of like, if your parents were here, in terms of your contribution now to the story of Nigeria, in, in their style, what would they say to you in this moment? <laughs> well, I think the moving of the goalpost is, is, is done um, at this point. I think once you get to, to Disney, they, mm. they're like, okay, you know what? You, you, you find me. <laughs> no, but how, how does it sound coming out of their mouth now? Because they're very hard to impress mm. our parents so, with the dice roll. So I'll say with mine in, in particular, maybe now they're a lot more forthcoming mm. about, about the praise. Because I remember when, when we first started on this journey, actually, um, I would hear from other people, mm. oh, about how much my, I mean, my dad in particular respects the fact that I've chosen, like, as a man, I've chosen my own path, but I would not, not necessarily, like, hear it directly, but I think it has now all come full circle because initially he, he didn't, both of my parents, but, but my dad in particular, they didn't really understand mm. what it was that, that I, was, I was trying to achieve. And I, I understand, I have empathy for that point of view because they grew up in a very different context. And that's why actually the character of Tunde, one of the reasons why I had him come from a very poor background is because I wanted to reflect that uh, perspective of, of these archetypical Nigerian parents who grew up with a lot of hardship. So in their mind, Financial security means job security, and job security means taking a career path that is more mm. more well known. You know, be a banker, mm. be a, a lawyer. So I think a lot of it just came out of fear of, oh my, oh my God, you know, my son is taking this like completely different path. Is he going to be able to take care of himself? But once they saw that actually there was method to the yeah. madness, and this was leading somewhere, they now realize that there is a different way of of doing things. And I hope this is something that a lot of other African parents. Um, or parents in the larger black community um, in the world realize is that there isn't a single path one one can take as long as there is an end goal that mm. that the child has in mind. We don't all have to be bankers, lawyers, accountants. We can be musicians. We can be writers. We can be animators. Yeah. Quick, quick, fi quick fire question. Okay. After this series, everybody loves it. You have Burner Boy. You have Wizkid, <laughs> Thames, and Davido. <laughs> I, I want to make the soundtrack. Who do you accept, and who are you letting down? Oh, wow. I mean, each of you, one word answer. <laughs> oh, okay. right, I thought I dodging this one. Because <laughs> they're probably listening, so come on. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say Burner. Burner, who's yeah. doing the soundtrack? No answer. No, am I? Am I? Okay. I, I'm going to just say, because the director of this one said Burner Boy, I'll go with Burner Boy. <laughs> Same <laughs> answer. Sir, at the back, who would your preference be? Um, was Thames in the mix? Thames. Yeah, that, that, I'm, I'm going to go with that, man. I'm going to stick with Thames, too. Yeah, I feel like yeah. Thames, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Awesome, yeah. Thank you all uh, for doing this. I really appreciate it and really nice to meet you all. Oh, man. Cheers. Definitely. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice one. <laughs>